You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin. On Tuesday, Everton are within touching distance of the top four after last night's 1-0 victory over Southampton. The Saints are just seven points above the drop now with their eighth loss in nine games, whilst the Toffees will be in a Champions League place if they win their game in hand. Manager Carlo Ancelotti wants his squad to believe and carry on their good form. I think that we have a great opportunity, just, I don't know, for how long, one day, two days, three days, to be in the top four. And I think we would like to touch we would like to touch that position. Uh, we have to put uh, all our effort uh, for, the game, for the game on Thursday to try to be there. I don't know how long. Liverpool legend Ian St John has died at the age of 82 after a long illness. He won two top flight titles and scored the decisive goal as the Reds lifted their first FA Cup in 1965. The former Scotland forward also earned 21 caps and managed Motherwell and Portsmouth before a successful career in television. Prime Minister Boris Johnson says it's the right time for the UK and Ireland to launch a joint bid to host the 2030 World Cup, as the government has set to pledge nearly £3 million to kickstart the process in tomorrow's budget. The Football Associations of England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Ireland say they are all delighted with the government's commitment. And Real Madrid left it late to equalise at home to Real Sociedad in La Liga last night, with Vinicius Junior scoring on his 100th appearance for the club. The result leaves Zinedine Zidane's men level on points with Barcelona in second place, but they're still five behind leaders Atletico Madrid. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you would like to see more, then you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, as well as downloading our app for all the latest.